this series the glory of indian saints is a humble attempt to introduce these mahans so that you can learn from them in the coming weeks we are going to listen to the incidents from the life of mahans like swami vivekananda kanchi periyava saint kabir das adi shankara shirdi sai baba and many more let us start with the life journey of the first saint everything is easy when you are busy nothing is easy when you are lazy all power is within you you can do anything and everything do you know the great saint who uttered these valuable quotes he was a young saint and his birthday is celebrated as the national youth day in india you can see his picture and uh, he wears a saffron turban and saffron clothes standing majestically any guesses yes it is swami vivekananda swami vivekananda is one of the acclaimed social reformers and spiritual leaders of india his original name was narendra nath datta he was born into an affluent family in kolkata in west bengal as a boy narendra nath excelled in music gymnastics and even studies he acquired vast knowledge in different subjects born with yogic temperament he used to practice meditation even as a young boy kids maybe you should really try doing meditation it is said that meditation helps increase focus and it also helps you in calming down so meditation is very very good for your brain development and i'm sure all of you kids will benefit out of it so please try to learn meditation now let's come back to the story of swami vivekananda as a young man narendranath had to pass through a tough period where he was confused about the existence of god it was at that time that he heard about swami ramakrishna paramahamsa from one of his english lecturers he decided to meet swami ramakrishna paramahamsa who was staying in a kali temple in dakshineshwar narendranath had confusions about the existence of god He asked his questions to many people but none of them could give him a convincing answer and he was not able to accept that God existed. He was still very confused whether God exists or not. So he went to Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa is a divine incarnation and he is considered as a religious leader whose progressive thinking brought him followers from all over the world. During his discourses he used to emphasize that God can be seen with real faith not just in dreams or through meditation but directly in front of you Swami ji advised that with real faith we can see God like a person in front of us and talk to him like we talk to real people Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa had not even attended primary school. He didn't even know to write his name in his mother tongue Bengali without spelling mistakes. But an intellect like Narendra Nath surrendered himself to that simple saint. That is the beauty of spirituality, isn't it kids? He started attending the discourses of Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. One day, unfortunately, Narendra Nath's father passed away. His family's financial condition became pathetic. So far his family was very affluent they had money okay so narendra nath only had to concentrate on his studies and he was attending these spiritual discourses and all but now reality stuck and he was very scared and confused about his family situation so he came to swami ramakrishna paramahamsa and asked him you always say you have seen god is it possible to see god is it possible to talk to god swami ji said what's the doubt With pure faith you can see God just like you see me and you can even talk to God just like you are talking to me now Now Narendra Nath got very excited he pleaded to Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa saying My family is in a huge financial crisis with lot of debts can you please speak to God and explain about my family situation can you please request God to bless us with a good and comfortable life Swami ji replied Why should I ask God on your behalf you go and ask God directly why don't you do it yourself So Narendra Nath said Then show me God I will ask him Tonight at 12 am go to the Bavadarini Kali temple there you will have a darshan of Kali Devi you can submit your prayers and explain about your family's condition and you can ask God as Kali to bless you 
as ordained by his guru swami ramakrishna paramahamsa narendranath went to the temple at midnight he got a blissful darshan of kali devi narendranath prayed i want to attain jnana that is wisdom and bhakti in my life he came back to his guru and his guru asked him did you have a darshan of kali did you explain to her about your family situation narendranath replied no but why I forgot Swami ji said run back to the temple Kali will bless you with darshan once again this time don't forget to pray to her and explain your family situation and ask for help once again he ran back to the temple once again Kali blessed him with a darshan and once again he prayed I want to attain jnana and bhakti in my life when he came back to the guru the guru asked him did you ask her to help you with your family situation at least now Narendranath said No, I forgot about my family situation. I only prayed for jnana and bhakti. Swami ji sent him to the temple for the third time. Once again Kali blessed him with her darshan and once again he prayed, I want to attain jnana and bhakti. When he came back, Swami ji asked him, Why didn't you ask Kali Devi to solve your family problems? Do you want to try once more? No, I don't want to, replied Narendranath. When Swami ji asked him why he didn't want to try again Narendranath replied As soon as I see Kali Devi I somehow forget about my family situation and financial condition all I'm able to do is pray for jnana and bhakti even when I remembered the family situation I felt embarrassed to talk about these insignificant things to Kali Devi Why should you be embarrassed to explain about your family situation? Let us assume that there is a mighty emperor who is very powerful and capable of giving whatever you want. Suppose he comes in front of me and asks what I want, can I tell him give me 1 spoon of salt or 2 spoons of sugar or half a kilo of brinjal? How can I ask for these simple insignificant things to a mighty emperor? It will be appropriate only if I ask him for something valuable that he is capable of offering isn't it similarly I can't pray to Kali Devi and ask for simple worldly requirements tomorrow my family situation may improve I may find a good job or someone may help us but these invaluable things like jnana and bhakti are rare to get I can only pray and beg God as Kali to bless me with them because only with the blessings of God and the grace of a guru one can attain these kind of treasures in life. That incident changed his life. Narendranath became a sanyasi and he came to be known as Swami Vivekananda. He traveled around the world to spread the Indian culture. His famous speech at the Chicago World Parliament of Religions started with the words Sisters and Brothers of America. With these simple words Swami ji illustrated the Indian culture of acceptance and seeing everyone as family. In fact it is interesting to note that once he was on a ship from Japan to Canada. Jamshed ji Tata maybe I will tell you kids about him in another episode. He is a very very significant person who has contributed extremely important things for the Indian economy. So coming back to the story of Swami Vivekananda. Jamshed ji Tata was also on the same ship swami vivekananda encouraged jamshed ji tata to manufacture steel equipments in india instead of importing them the advice of swami vivekananda was one of the founding stones of the industrial revolution in india swami vivekananda was a saint who not only spoke about god but he also guided people on how to bring in the cultural values into contemporary modern day life and that is why he is seen as a true youth icon kids i hope you enjoyed listening to the story of swami vivekananda's life journey let us try to follow his teachings and as he always says arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached keep listening to monkey talks and i am going to come up with the story of the next saint very soon and this is 